Well, uh, good afternoon. We're going to start the session. <coughs> Algorithm for variational problems. Yeah, our first speaker is Dean Deluc from University of Aberdeen. Okay, thank you. So uh, here you have a picture of the last uh, conference. So GCM10, and you you uh, you see so here some guy. You recognize him. So, in fact, so, uh, I, I am very glad to, uh, to come here. So, I remember that when I was a PhD student, and my supervisor, Professor Prikopa from Hungary, uh, he organizes, organized several conferences and uh, so invited me to, uh, as uh, I would say, on behalf of PhD students to, uh, to, to, to say something about how say the conference. And so he, uh, before my talk, he just before, he told me that you say anything you want, but just not say thank to me. Okay. So here, uh, I I I tell him that okay. So I I will vote, uh, thank you, but you will be acknowledged for how say inviting me to the conference and for the organization. So the same thing is said to now to Alfredo. Okay, so uh, my talk, the title here. So we have uh, two parts. The first one is about uh, fixed point method. I think that fixed point theory, a little. And second part is linear variation relation problem. So those who are familiar with fixed point theory can skip the first part. And those who are familiar with rational analysis, you can skip the second part. OK? Uh, so here is the um, outline of my talk. So first, I speak about a uh, rational relation problem, the model I am going to develop, I study. Second about fixed point, and the third, error bound. Just error bound is, uh, I, I just recall some, how say, simple elementary results from uh, the theory of error bound uh, for linear systems that I will need for the uh, last part about solving variation and relation problems. Okay, so here is our problem. So we have to find some x bar from a set x so that x bar is a fixed point of some set valid map from x to x and t here are x bar y holds for any y from t x bar and the r is the relation linking to elements x from X, capital, and Y from capital Y. Okay, so in general setting, our relation is given by a subset of the product space X by Y, right? And so we have our X and Y, relation between X and Y is satisfied if and only if, so we have the coupler X and Y belongs to the set R, okay? And I give you some particular cases. Sometimes R is given by function. So we have a real function of two variables, X and Y. So R, X, Y is satisfied if and only if X, X, Y, phi, sorry, equal to zero. Sometimes we can replace equal by inequalities, say not equal to zero or strictly bigger or bigger or equal to zero. Next particular cases when we are dealing with set valid maps, so we have here you say that R the relation between X and Y holds if and only if we have how say inclusion of two set-valued maps, 
or not inclusion. Here's the second line. Or intersection, empty intersection, or non-empty intersection. Okay? So here I give you a very simple example to show that, in fact, there, there are some problems in how the real line that we cannot formulate as an optimization problem or vision and inequality problem, but we do have this problem in form of vision relation problem. Okay, look at this case. So some guy wants to investigate in some project and he has not enough money to do that. And then he has to learn from a bank, right? Okay, so X is a variable. I mean that the, uh, uh, the, the amount of money to, 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 uh, to put into the project. And here, of course, we do not know exactly how many money, how much money we can loan from the bank because you have to go there to negotiate with bankers to get there. And normally, we can guess that they would, how say, loan me uh, an amount, not exactly, but from some, say, 10,000 to uh, $50,000 and so on. It means that here we do not exactly number we want, but just some interval. So here we are dealing with set valid math, okay? So B here is a set valid math. If you, uh, project is small, okay, so they can give you more money. So 1.8x uh, up to 1.9x. And if you, your project is big, then probably they get, they, they, they get less money than you need. So here we have a set valid map, and so my set SX is BX plus 10, 1,000 that I have before, okay? So now, if I want to investigate to the project, it means that I have to obtain X, exactly a fixed point of the set valid map SX, okay? And now T, what's the T? T is the interest. Of course, you, if you loan some money from the bank, you have to pay interest. And the same thing here, we do not have the fixed, how say, interest rate, because you, you have to nego negotiate, and it depends on you how you can uh, convince the bankers about your project. And uh, normally, we have here also a set value map. So it means that uh, you may have a set value of T. And of course, it depends on, so, on the progress of uh, his project. And what happened here? Of course, what is our how say, purpose? What is our aim? So you want to, to earn money, right? Profit. And here you have a profit. The profit satisfies so that relation here. You, you, you see that Fx minus Y is just what I can earn, right? After paying the interest from the bank. So what I want to do, I do not optimize this guy. I want that this amount that I earn is at some level that I want to. Because why? Because I, for some, I, I know that I, I, I need uh, X dollars to keep my family, to uh, pay, how I say, uh, schooling for my kids and so on. So it means that I have some level that I want to, to get. Okay? So here is A and B. So what is that? My, my M is what? So determine X and to guarantee an expired level of the, my, my income, whatever the situation would be, okay? So this problem is indeed a violation relation problem and not optimization problem, okay? We go further. So now, a very popular case to just take care of, how I say, very easy. So we have SX is all X. It means that everything is fixed point. You have no worry. Uh, we do not worry about the first condition of our problem, just the second one, okay? So R is given by a system of, how say, of equation, inequality, okay? Here you look at this system. A is a matrix, 
and G is vector function. So what I want to do, so I have to find our problem is here, find X bar so that this inequality, system of inequalities holds for every Tx, for every Y from Tx bar. Okay? So here you see that in fact we have, a, how to say, a kind of rational inequality problem, but very complicated because T, the map T, T is not constant. I mean that T is a set valued map. Okay, so what relation with set valued map? Uh, okay, uh, fixed point theory. Here, if I set gamma, a set valued function map from X to itself, defined by this Y, then our problem is equivalent to finding a fixed point of this guy. Okay? Now, when speaking about fixed point, so two persons come to my mind. Probably you know him, especially our colleagues from Poland. They are not here. All right? So here, you see that the first guy is, is older, right? How many do you think? 10 years? No, this is Bonnie. And the second one is younger. Okay, indeed, this guy is older. Okay. So here you have Brower and Banach. All right, so here you have two person and two theorems. The first one, so we have if X is closed ball in Rn and F is a continuous function, then F has a fixed point. Second theorem, if you have a contraction on a metric, complete metric space, then you have also a fixed point, and here you have something more. You can, can, can compute the, how say, convergent rate of, of the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the sequence, okay? So these two theorems are very famous. A lot of application in applied mathematics, pure mathematics also, especially in different, differential equations. Okay, now I speak about two generalizations. The first one belongs to Kakutani. You see here in 41, okay? So what he did, he, so he, he considered set valid map. So here you have F, it's a set valid map from X to uh, X with closed gra graph and a convex value then F has a fixed point. X, of course, capital X is convex compact set. Okay? So it is a big step how say, of generalization. And what about the, how say, the uh, Banach theorem? So we have another generalization belonging to Nadler in 69. So here we have a contraction with respect to the Hausdorff distance then we have also a fixed point, okay? So I will, actually I will, how say, follow the second generalization. The second one, the first one is very famous. The first, the Kakutani theorem. It's very famous because you remember that two Nobel Prize using this theorem, right? So um, Nash and Debre. And so I tell to my students, if you want to obtain Nobel Prize, please apply as a Kakutani theorem. Arrow. Arrow, yes. Arrow also. Yes. Yes, so three people. Also Prize. Yes, Debra. Okay, so here you have, I follow the second one. So I just to record the house drop distance. Uh, okay, so uh, recently, Mizuguchi Takahashi, so gave a further, how to say, generalization of Nadler theorem. So under this uh, sign, I mean that here, the map is not necessarily a contraction, right? Something, how to say, more general. And then Suzuki, because before Suzuki, someone, how to say, uh, published a paper saying that, in fact, uh, Mizuguchi Takahashi theorem is equivalent to Nadler theorem. 
But then, so a student of Takahashi, so Suzuki, so gave a counter example, showing that, in fact, that confirmation is wrong. So by giving a, an example to show that, in fact, so uh, that, this theorem is more general. Okay, and other contribution, you can how say, uh, see, for example, the names, especially is, as they are known for how say, fixed point theory community, it's a Siric, Lukojates, Klein, Radovsky, and so on. Okay, so just recently we gave with uh, my colleague from Jina, uh, uh, so a theorem with how say, using two functions, phi and psi, and if you have this kind of inequality condition, then you, have, you, you can get, how say, a, a fixed point also. But what, is, what happens here is that uh, the, 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 central, the, the function, so this uh, CX, CX is here, is, is the set of closed set of the space, okay, of the space X. So it means that F here you have, in fact, capital F is a set valid map. Okay, for example, from this theorem, you can obtain, I can just here a small example to show, in fact, you may have a map which is not necessarily con con contraction, but you still have how say, fixed point. And that here, so, uh, for example, how to obtain Miguzuchi theorem from the previous one, just to put, so the true function like this one, then you obtain at once uh, Mizuguchi Takahashi theorem, or the next one by Sirik, you can obtain on zero just to put psi equal to square of phi and so on. Or the same thing here for the result by Dukhojat state, very recent result, you can obtain on zero easily from our house previous uh, theorem. Okay, now uh, I have to pass to the Air Brown. So just to, it is here, here, no new result, just, just somehow say, uh, uh, I, I just recall some, some notion and result that I, I will need later. Okay, here you have a system of inequal linear inequalities, and then we can, of course, if X is an element solution of the system, then the distance of AX minus B to the negative orthon is equal to zero, and otherwise we can compute the distance from X to P by this formula, okay? And then the constant, Hopman's constant, or error bound, alpha is given by this inequality you have here. So plus here, it means that you take that positive part of the vector, okay? And then alpha, alpha can, can be calculated, but the best one, the best error bound is given by this formula you see here. And gamma i is computed by this formula also. So the column zero is the smallest parity eigenvalue of the matrix, AI, AI transpose. Okay, so here is the def definition of parity eigenvalue by this way. Okay, it's a kind of generalization of eigenvalue of a matrix to this case more general. Okay. All right, so uh, what is important for me is here the formula. So if we have another system, we just B prime instead of B, then I can compute the distance, how sort of distance between two solution set, P and P prime by this formula. It's very easy, okay? All right, so uh, now I return to uh, uh, our case, part, particular case of the variation and uh, uh, relation problem. So we have here the problem. I recall you that this problem is not easy because it is right. So this guy is not a constant map, but it is, it is a satellite map, okay? So as, I, for, as I knew, up to now, there are no, how say, efficient methods to solve this kind of rational inequality when the map T is uh, say, moving. Okay, so uh, we have already talked about uh, that. I mean that this uh, fixed point. Sorry, fixed point result. Okay, now I give uh, just a small technical lemma on how to compute, I mean, how to estimate the 
marginal function, the value function, okay, when you have the map T. So in fact, uh, we have this guy. So this is important too. Uh, so it, it is a kind of how lives is continuity, but not, uh, but, but not with, it's not a constant coefficient, right? It depending on the distance between X and Y. So here we have a theorem saying, uh, so, so uh, we, we have some sufficient conditions uh, for existence of solution of our problem. So here we see three conditions. Under these conditions, I have a solution, okay? Uh, and if T and G are Lipschitz functions, and this inequality is satisfied, alpha, once more, it is the Hoffman constant, then our problem has a solution. And then now I consider linear case where the function G, I mean that the, uh, the function G is given by, uh, by, by this, how say, uh, linear function, I mean affine function. Okay, and the same, our relation is given by, given by a linear system. So even in this case, very simple case, we may have no solution, okay? Because so we see that in fact the problem is not, not easy. So just you see here, very how I say, I, I give here just very, a simple example to show that in fact, even in this case, linear case, a rational, relation problem may have no solution, okay? So I have, a, uh, how say, a result about sufficient condition, one sufficient condition for existence of solution of VRP. Okay, and from here, I obtain uh, an algorithm to compute a solution of our problem. So here, the first step, Step O. o. So just we choose one, how say, point, X naught, and uh, tolerance, epsilon positive. And then the next one, I solved K problems. So they are linear programming problems. So we can solve them easily, right? And then I obtain a vector with components, optimum value, optimal values of these problems. Okay? So that's the first next step. Step two, I solve this problem. So x r minus z, and so I have here a convex programming problem, okay? And you have here over this this guy is convex, but the constraint set is of course when r is given, okay? So this this is how say the how the uh, uh, um, polyhedral set, okay? And so let Z be optimal solution of this program. Then the next step here, you check. So we have a check uh, stop uh, stopping criterion, this like this, and then otherwise you go back to the first step. Shall we see that this, uh, here we have? I would say algorithm is uh, quite how easy to just just we have to solve linear programs and then. A convex program, okay? And then we have a convergence present. So it means that when epsilon turns into zero, so we obtain a sequence of XR converging to a solution of our problem. And just, I give, I skip the proof. I give here a similar example. When A sees the matrices A, C, P, and Q are given like this one and then to, uh, vector C and Q, and how to uh, compute a solution of uh, our VRP. So we start with this one, this guy X naught, and then we solve a system of linear inequalities, and then we obtain optimum solution, vector B naught, and then, so we check, it is X naught is not equal to Z, optimum solution, so we go further. The second iteration, we have here, we, set, we start now with 
what we have obtained as the first iteration, right, in this of zero. We start with one, x1 equal to one. And okay, so we uh, solve to obtain this guy, b1, and then we minimize, so you remember that xr minus b, right? So here, minus z over this constraint set, okay? We obtain a solution that equal to one, and then I check x1 equal to z, so I stop my algorithm. That way we obtain, I would say, our solution, okay? So I think that I am in time, right? So just show you some, I would say, references on fixed point theorem, that's all. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Questions, suggestions?